you told the historical story in terms of both precision and yields. Yes. And I'm trying to think through the relationship between those two things, because in a strange way, more precision could just kind of be the same as having, you know, requiring smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller yields. I mean, if you're knocking out the guy in the backseat of a car, you know, and, and you're trying to avoid killing the driver, then the yield drops down to practically right. nothing, right? The way and I like describing it. Dynamic yeah. here. No, no, no. Well, let me give you. Yeah, there's my... some dynamic here, though, between precision and yield. I mean, yeah, it's wide of the two thirds. It lowers the demand for okay. yield. Yeah. It's wide of the two thirds. The, the yield is uh, related to the probability of kill as uh, to the two-thirds power. So that means it's super leveraged uh, accuracy, whereas yield isn't. You can, you can increase the yields uh, many fold and not get the same effect of just a slight change in the inaccuracies uh, being produced. Yeah. So, so for example, uh, I like to say, if you're accurate enough to um, be near the doorknob, a little bit of energy twisting the doorknob opens the door. If you can't get to the doorknob, you need a gun to blow the doorknob off. If you cannot see the doorknob, you have to blow the door off. And if you can't see the door, you gotta blow the whole building down. Right. And I think that's a, a kind of crude way. I, I can send you the primer with all the numbers. I don't wanna display my lack of memory. But it's, it's, it's leveraged several orders of magnitude in favor of working accuracies rather than yields. So that's the reason why we got rid of so many of our weapons and why the yields have come down so much. We don't need them. 